This is the capital city averages all across Australia broken down by location. I'm gonna put a little picture of this chart right in front of you so you have it. You can see my key takeouts here. Perth on fire, ripping year again. You've got 12 to 16% growth driven by a lack of housing supply that we all know about. Perth is going to go bonanzas. Brisbane, bonanzas too, 10 to 15%. Darwin, bonanzas too, 12 to 16%. These three markets are going to go on a tear, just like they have been this year. And in this everything everywhere property boom, these markets are driving the national average up. We also have Melbourne, four to 7%. Sydney, the lowest performer here, three to 6%. The lowest performer is still doubling the inflation rate, tripling the inflation rate in some cases, depending on where inflation actually lands in 2026. House prices everywhere doing really well when Sydney is the lowest performer at three to six percent. Adelaide 10 to 14, another bonanza year. Hobart four to seven. Hobart, very interesting. Hobart starting its next growth cycle by the looks of it here. Canberra three to six percent. And here you have the national average between six to 10% property price growth for the year ahead. That's another trillion dollars being added to wealth all across Australia, making Australians the richest people in the world. That is what this will do. Do you feel rich?